What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and this is Tam. Hey. And today we are on Legends of Tomorrow, Season 6, Episode 15, The Fungus Among Us. Um, so, last episode, John, he flew the coop. Rest in peace. Uh, he, <laughs> you know, was lusting for his magic back, and he did all the wrong ways, and it cost him his life. Um, so... Yeah, he got consumed by some form of like magic drugs That's and magic. Yeah, it, it took over and it just had him acting a little out the ordinary and yeah, he had to go unfortunately for making a mistake. A bishop played him and killed him basically. Uh, but it was kind of for the best because he was just going down a bad path that he couldn't get out of, um, which truly sucks. So we'll probably see Zari reacting to that because she didn't get to say goodbye or anything. So that sucked. Spooner either died or passed out last episode because obviously whatever happened with her mushroom thing is not, it, it looked like it died, yeah, but it had her in it. So I don't know if that means she dies or she just passed out or what that means, but I don't have to figure it out since everybody's finally back together. And then Mick blew up in Med Bay. So I don't know if they're killing him off or what they're doing, but yeah, I don't know. It's a mess last episode. So I wasn't expecting any of that. And this is the last chance for Sarah and Ava to get married. So I don't know if this is going to have a happy ending or what. But we're going to find out. So uh, full and early reactions are available on Patreon. And we are going to get started. That is not what happened, but okay. Are you okay? Charred. Nothing new. That was not what they filmed, yeah. but whatever. Right? They definitely try to play us. You guys saved them. Why? Because it makes kids you're talking about. It makes them family. And now the bomb obliterated Gideon's mainframe, which means we are stranded. You're stranded. You still got my ship. <laughs> Spoke a little too soon, huh? Gyrating bastard. Oh, I forgot about Bayrod. Oh, oh, hey, guy. What happened to my couch? That's what you were about. I shouldn't have gone home. I should have been here. What could you have done? You were awful. I know a thing or two about addiction. When we get John back on board, he's not leaving my sight. It's too late, B. John is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? He's dead. Oh, that's not possible. He, he, he's John Constantine. He, he can't be dead. Bishop tricked John into poisoning himself to kill the fountain. And I watched John die. He decomposed into the ground and all that was left was this. Whoa. Yeah? What you gonna do, smoke it? <laughs> Wait a second, where's Spooner? Too soon. Yeah. About that. That's a whole other story. I get the $10 on my stamp in the future. It's nice to meet you. Is she is dying? Nothing I've tried is helping to stop it. I, I'm a healer. And I can't help my own daughter. I didn't help her. How are we doing in here? How's it look, smartass? What's the time before? The eggs, dummy. They need to be rotated every 12 minutes. Mm. 12 minutes? I got them. Every 12 minutes, there ain't no way. Then things better hatch within an hour. They ain't been being rotated. It wouldn't help anyway. They're just gonna be some Who's lopsided like babies. Yeah, <laughs> right. But they're hit like that. Chances of that being a coincidence? It's, it's not protecting them from aliens anymore. Yeah. They're here. They're watching us. Earth is ours. Send the beacon. Spin what beacon? Just the aliens talking. You need to run now. You are a metal. Look like uh, <laughs> look like a damn Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things. What is this? You got super strength. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Shoot through her. She can heal. Is that okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Where's the other one? Huh? Oh, he said the beacon. Oh shit. You bitch. Where are I? And then he's gonna die, so I can't do that. Though. The hell's them ringing the dinner bell? You put him in the pot. He's so petty. It's so funny though. Like bury me, sir. Don't put me in a damn pot so you can look at me and I gotta look at you all day. You wanna be alone right now? But I need you to look at the mushroom. I'm okay, thanks. I don't think John's dead. I think he's inside this little guy. Just look. If you miss him, then clear your mind. Are you high right now? I was gonna say, you smoking that dope, sir? Did you come to me after John died? Stoned? No, John isn't dead. And that means he can still help us. He'll know what the fountain needs to heal. Stop. Even if he were somehow alive, he is the last person we should ask for help. Lest you forget, he screwed all of us over for his pathetic ego trip. Ah, oh, I'm back. Finally. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, hello, Tired of did you miss me? Hope you die a horrible death. By the time you see this recording, I expect John will be dead. The fountain will also be dead. And my Zagaron friends should be on their way to destroy you. I hope I've got that right. It's always possible like on my face. And because I can literally think Sarah's thoughts, about now is the time that Sarah Lance has figured out my plan for us to live together forever after everyone else has died it's the new adam and eve he said he's the only one who can save the fountain so maybe he should yeah he's not gonna do that not that guy but a younger version of him <gasps> time napping i love it gang he wasn't always a super villain but he's always been super smart it goes against it's not a bad idea if you have which means Bishop would never expect it. If we only ever do what makes sense to you, he will always be one step ahead. Right. There's only one way to wage a war against yourself. And that is to have a what would Sarah never do day. Her <laughs> worst nightmare. It is a really bad idea. <laughs> but it's the only thing that's gonna work. Oh my God, I must become wildly famous for my genius of time travelers come looking for my help. I can almost become really a big deal. Uh, you go on this, dude. Oh, no. Uh, all right, smarty pants. You want to help us save the world? He is in the mushroom. He wants to talk to us. And we all got to eat him. Um, you can eat him. So you ate a strange mushroom and you thought you heard John's voice? I know I did. It's proof that John Only he would think to eat it. Inside the mushroom. Right. John wants How us to take that big of a bite. He wants now to help us heal the fountain. Eat it now. Done thinking about someone other than himself? I'm mushroom. not eating it anyway. We have a plan. That plan is crazy, but it still makes more sense than talking to a mushroom. Sorry, wait. She's in denial. He's probably right, but I'm not crazy enough to bite a mushroom. Yeah, something else could do it there, sir. Go do this. It. Communing with a spirit while in an altered state is pretty on brand for us. Guys, I'm sorry, but no, no, definitely not. The last thing we need to be doing is tripping on mushrooms. Mm, yeah, well, isn't it, uh, what Sarah never do, Dave? Just the same. We right. played that game, and now it's time to prepare for an alien invasion. So, please, everyone, just go make yourself useful, okay? You're right. She got bit. Mm hmm. Why is everybody taking such a big bite? It's really not that bad. John. Sarah. Join me. Are you... Are you alive? Not exactly. I'm... present. <laughs> What I did was unforgivable. I need you and the fountain to help. The fountain is a mind of its own. 
It no longer deems human beings worthy of its protection. Damn it, John, you did this. You need to fix this. I cannot separate myself from the fountain. My life force is the only thing keeping the fountain and Sapuna alive. If I leave, they both perish. Loving and being loved, that is the point. I had that. It should have been enough, but I wanted more now. The whole world, especially Zari, is suffering because of my mistake. Mm-hmm. I think I understand. There's one last thing I need to tell you. Hurry up and say it. It's the secret to all life. I know the answer! I know the answer to all of our questions. Don't say it to me. It's the meaning of life. You ate the mushroom, didn't you? Yes. And I saw John. What? Yeah. He told me what this is about. He told me what everything is about. He said... We are all... I saw that above her sleeper once. Huh? It made her high. This is really profound in the moment. Oh, they're here. Ooh, that's a lot. How many in each one? Two. Didn't the fountain wake up or whatever? Scare the bags away? Look, the one thing I learned while being connected to the fountain. It doesn't want to help us. We have about four more hours left of daylight. Four. So we're gonna gear up, hydrate, and prepare for the fight of our lives. Ava, will you marry me? What? We already did the proposal thing. No, no, I mean marry me now, today, before the apocalypse. What are you talking about? We don't got about? time we for just... that. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight those things anyway. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be, and four hours is totally doable. Ooh, we can get the whole team on board. We produce much crazier miracles in far less time. No, no, I would rather save the miracles for the actual fight. You guys, we may not survive the night. Then let's go out on our own terms. Do things our way. Do what we Only want the legends. to do. Babe, we've got our friends, we've got our vows, and we've got four hours. What else do we need? I don't know, maybe for the world not to be ending? Guys, John told me the most important thing in life is loving someone and being loved. And if getting married is the last thing that we do together, then... Damn, I will be just fine with that. Wedding before war! Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is beyond me. Stopping aliens is what my friends and I do. But I can't protect the planet if I'm too busy protecting you. You're too important to me, Mommy. But this is my home. I built it with my own two hands for you. You couldn't come back to it, us. I spent my whole life thinking aliens killed you. I never thought I'd see you again. I thought I'd lost you forever. This, this has been a gift. I've never been happier to be wrong about anything. But if you stay, then that horrible story I had to live with for 20 years will be true. the little friendship they've created mm -hmm. you waited until right now to write your vows right she can a little busy i'm like you I cleaning the entire thing focused on every saving the tiny world detail of my dream wedding and now we're throwing it all away and racing into this slapdash ceremony and i have no time <laughs> no, seriously and I feel like i'm gonna just she spent all that time to come up with a rushed wedding her anxiety is through the roof you're gonna walk down that aisle mm -hmm. to the love of your life She's gonna say some very beautiful things to you. Stop helping me. No, no, no. And then you, you're gonna look deep into those gorgeous blue eyes of hers and say what you feel. I feel sick. Don't say that. I don't. Uh, what do you? He said that. You want me to improvise? Me? Yeah. I'm you. Terry. Mm hmm. Will you please walk me down the aisle? It would be my greatest honor. He has always worked for her. Yeah. And he's been there as one of her closest friends. Oh, tell me why I thought they were getting married on the ship. No, that's oh, what Spooner's mom was doing, getting I know, I forgot. She had Mick walk her down. 
Not this shit on this floor. And he's sitting on the stairs side. The sun of the sky. Thanks for coming. It's not like you gave me much choice. You brought the kids. Well, last time they were left on the ship, they almost blew up. Yes. Yes, they did. How long did it take for them to hack? Right. Oh, Actually, I rotate them all in 12 minutes. Oh. <laughs> People have shaken alien syndrome. I fondly remember the moment they met. She had a gun. <laughs> She had a glare. <laughs> Destiny was at work. We've all been through a lot since that day. And on that journey, you challenge each other to be the best versions of yourself possible. This moment, this wedding, this is exactly what the world needs. We're facing insurmountable odds, but even during the darkest of times, when hope seems lost, love. Love is what matters most. Ava, the perfect woman. What could a mess like me ever hope to offer someone special as you? Can't exactly say it was love at first sight. <laughs> but you did look really good in that pantsuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the more that I got to know you, and I got to feel your kindness and your honesty, well, this heart, once so cold and guarded, it just... It just melted. <laughs> She can make some just so corny stuff. Not corny, you know? So genuine and, so and good. Yeah. Today, here, in front of all of That's our friends. That's how vows are supposed to be. Because it comes from the heart. I to these vows to you. The corniest things mean so much to people when it's personal, you know what I mean? That makes sense. I will always be your family. Oh, that's the fight in the wedding dress. I know. Wouldn't be the first time. Sarah, they all fought in dress clothes I, at Barry and Iris' wedding. My life before you was a perfect fabrication. And then you came into my world and everything just became a whirlwind. You, know, you brought chaos into my tidy, predictable existence. And um, you pretty much brought me to life. I love you so, so much, Sarah Lance. Hers was so short. Because <laughs> <laughs> Sarah wrote it and she made it up. Yeah. Well, she didn't make it up. Well, she made it up on the fly. From whatever. From the heart, yeah. So if there's no objection. Such a beautiful moment. You already know Bishop and the aliens were going to object. Like you gonna crash it. She gonna be so mad. Why are you flying like that? He didn't dust it up all the clouds. What a darling setup you've got here. Pre-apocalypse nuptials are all the rage. But you know it's gonna be you and me for all eternity, Sarah Lance. Is that me? Am I the villain? <laughs> Is that my younger self down there? Wow, that's embarrassing. I did not see that coming. Well played. But I'm afraid it's all for naught. Cause you know what your little party is missing? He yeah, expedited it because they come out at night and cover the sky. That's why he was flying all retarded. All right. <laughs> Everybody without seal skin and regeneration, fall back and barricade the house. I ain't running. Come get your weapons, folks. Of course, she had him hitting under the know. table. <laughs> here. Get out of here. I'm staying. What? This family is sticking together. Maybe her babies will hatch. The fight? <laughs> Did they grow fast? Sorry, twin powers activate. <laughs> I just said Tarazi, I'm sorry, Twins. Guys, we might want to rethink our stance on this. Tarazi, Twins. <laughs> I'm going back to the shit. Uh, Run! We gotta go! Run! <laughs> Not into the house, they go right, right through. Hi! 
done enough. No, he really hasn't. Ooh, done it, baby! Okay. So dark. I didn't know if that was him, the Spooner, or Favorite. Oh they both got the same hair. Okay, I'm not losing you too. What? They do. It's, their hair is very similar. It's, it's the dark. Same color, but it's not similar. And they're wearing, they're both wearing life. the same color. But it was a dark scene. Like it killed me. There is no cure. We have to stop this right now. Hold him down. Hey, you are not touching my back. I am trying to save him. She got amputated, no, yeah, because her body died. Oh. You guys seeing this? He gave me my powers because I found it. I can feel that it's waking up. It's like it's like John said. We're all connected. Oh, they just acting up. They give the powers left and right to everybody. Not you coming up trying to murder us. Take it this next time. The tire and go raise his babies. You brought me here for warnings. I got the message. I just killed him. I swear, and it's all what it went away. Never become that. Thank you. Very sweet sentence. Sarah would have never got kidnapped and none of this would have ever happened. But then I guess Spooner would have never found her mom. I guess they didn't want to do that. Is this a dream? Click your heels, throw it in, you're going home. And, um, Nick would never have his babies. 
Yeah, but they could have used that as a fail safe. I wish that could have been. That's a story about losing someone That's to addiction. Real. What? Did you eat the mushroom? You. You bastard. What were you even sneaking around here this whole time? No, 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 no. I, I just got here, honestly, really. You know, after the fountain, he and Anne could survive without me. It saw the purity of my sacrifice. And it saw fit to give me another chance. You're Your sacrifice. Me. Okay, all right. I was joking. The fountain didn't think too highly of me. Even less after I contacted an old associate in hell. Long story short, the chip to my soul now belongs to a demon once again. And the fountain is very happy that I'm no longer bound to it. Should've known Legends wasn't gonna go through killing nobody. Yeah. Just like... They won't kill anybody except Leonard Smart. He's the only one that they've officially. Well, and Martin. Listen, Leonard and Martin, the two, two of some of the best now. characters in Destroy Fires. Legends. Legends. But here, take this. An old key? What is this for? Find out. Imagine if our first day on the Wave Rider. We traveled to this moment, to this house, and we saw me, a captain with a wife, and you with 48 kids. Where are you? And a grandbaby on the way. Wow. Well, I don't think we would have recognized ourselves. No, you wouldn't have. Because um, Legends Rider just write anything. The next job with a new partner. I had a feeling that was coming. You know you always have a home in the way, Rider. But I guess you'll be busy taking care of 48 punks. Well, He's gonna have a limited role in the thing or two about handling punks. Just you do it for six years. Well, that's that. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. Things rarely wrap up in a neat little bow for us. Oh, come on, babe, don't be paranoid. No, seriously. Life we'll be setting that for next season. It's gonna blow up. Yep. Oh, I was waiting. Oh. I, I knew it. it. <laughs> By another wave rider. What the hell? Oh. Trapping them here? Mm -hmm. What if it was their past selves trapping them? It was. It had, or something. It had to, something was trying to stop them from getting on that ship some reason it was their shit that did it yeah it literally just came bombed it and dipped away legends played to and then they they, they knew we expected this and they threw the title card it's like nope he was right <laughs> and then boom they did that after yeah because they knew we knew something was gonna happen and they're like ah oh, we got you and then ah oh, no we really got you now okay okay i see what you did there y'all played too much but um no it was, it was a decent season finale it, the dang random wedding in the middle of everything was like whatever like what um, are you guys doing but i guess that's how they solve their problems with weirdness and the unexpected and just doing any and everything yeah. and just hoping it works i guess um yeah literally it wasn't how i expected this to go off but it, it's legend nothing really surprises me i will say i like this season a lot better than um five and four I, seasons one, two, and three will always be my favorite. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good season. I liked uh, the, the addition of Spooner. I like her character a lot. Uh, I think she does really well. Um, I guess she's going to get to spend some more time with her mom because she's trapped in this time period with no way out. So I wonder what kind of story that's setting up. Them yeah. trying to figure out why they why their selves trapped them here and then now they don't have a time ship so i mean i guess they can go find that's not gonna help anything because what's them called mixed girlfriend has a ship but it's not a time ship yes it is it is yes she can travel throughout time i thought it was just a spaceship oh then how did she get there i don't know exactly it's a time ship but she don't have it I guess, I don't know. I don't. I, Bishop I, took it. Oh, wait, no, he died. She does have it. 
But do was you it a time that? ship? I don't remember it being a time ship. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, I guess I, there's no other way for it to get there. But I guess. But th you would think their past selves would have known that and blown her ship up too. I don't know. Um, but obviously they're stuck here. They probably didn't have enough time for whatever reason. Or they just forgot. Zari has that key, which we think it's to the mansion, but it really could be something else. Um, Spoonu has some cool new powers where she can swap people's powers with any, the, each other. Um, yeah, and there's probably more she can do. They'll probably explore that next season. Um, but really, I don't know what else they got planned. It's not like I can predict this show. It's too weird. Um... Yeah, it really is. But the character work was really good um, this season. Um, the story is pretty good. Bishop was annoying, but he was a decent villain, I will say. His plan was sick and twisted. Um, everybody was pretty utilized very well this episode. I think it was a very well done episode. The last one's probably still my favorite of the season. Um, of course, they didn't go through with killing anybody off. But besides Bishop. Yeah, besides Bishop. But they set all that up, just like Black Lightning did in their one episode. Pretended like they was killing half the cast and then didn't go through with it. But it's all right. It is what it is. Uh, I wasn't expecting much with Legends. And nobody truly stays dead anyway with time travel. So it really don't matter. Yeah. Um, plus, they just probably wanted to leave it open so Constantine can come back one day. Plus, they didn't want to kill an OG Mick off. He already wrote everybody else off. But, I mean, he is, like I said, he's having a limited role next season, so he's only going to be popping on here and there. So Sarah's really our only OG left on the show. Uh, we'll see Ray again the Flash um, event, Armageddon event, so that'd be cool. Um, but, yeah. Um, so I guess we'll catch y'all next month for season seven, since that comes out in October. I didn't think it would be back so soon, but I looked it up, and it was like, yeah, October. I wouldn't come back till next year. But considering COVID made this show behind, I guess it's fitting. But um, of course, we want to hear what you guys thought. So be, be sure, sure to like. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's your part, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe to Patreon. Good morning, reaction. And we'll see you guys next month for Legend Season 7. Bye.